Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel guys, to the newcomers, my name is Didi, today doing a walk and talk here on the beautiful nature of Lagos, because the beach, the waves are really high, and the waves are too high, it's really noisy, you can even, you can even hear them from here guys, so I can't walk the beach today, uh, a cool video, amazing Bitcoin charts, I think four of them, I have a beautiful trading tip that is very important, I have very important news for all the UK people out there and all the new laws uh, that are now being thrown on crypto and then there is some really cool travel tip and of course some other advice as well cool video packed with information so watch it till the end let's jump into the charts first because I know you love the charts Bam. This is the first chart, guys. This is the Bitcoin spiral, the halving cycle. You can see beautifully um, how it works. It's a spiral. Uh, we pass through all these phases and block numbers. At the moment, we are at 183.7 almost, guys, um, which means we are nearing the halving. The halving is where those green dots are, like the top vertical line. That's the halving line. And from that moment, we will go into the new blocks and the new quarter of blocks and then the next quarter of blocks. And you can see at the right bottom of the chart you can see the all-time highs so in that block mostly the all-time highs were created and then again a few blocks later from 78.7k uh, the blocks to 130k block that will be the bottom again so from this moment on the next half circle if you look at it like that from 183.7k uh, blocks to 78.7k blocks that's a half circle that moment is the moment you should be in Bitcoin and the price is going to rise because we are going to create new all-time highs again so it will take a little bit more it will take in my opinion to 2025 but there will be new all-time highs and that is what the spiral is showing you and yes then after that the spiral is going even further to the next cycle which will lead to prices of one million dollar of bitcoin because on the right side of the chart you can see that this cycle should lead somewhere to 100k and the next cycle somewhere to between 100k and 1 million and then i think the third cycle probably to 1 million guys so that is how you look at bitcoin how you zoom out uh, in bitcoin and zoom in at live guys Check the next chart, this one. This chart is showing you that the Bitcoin inventory exchanges is changing. Like the bottom light blue line, that is the spot Bitcoin inventory. So that's the Bitcoins that were being held on the exchanges. Since the last bull market top, around 70k, we have only seen a decrease in the Bitcoins on the exchanges. This light blue line on the bottom is only going down less bitcoins are being held on the exchanges on the other hand if we look at the bear market so we look at the bitcoin price the top blue line and we see from the top to the bottom at that moment the total tradable bitcoin increased but these of course are the paper bitcoins this is of course the leverage trading that is happening on the exchanges so yes people are getting smarter taking more of their bitcoins to their cold storage to their hardware wallets on the other hand people do leverage their bitcoins a little bit more to be able to trade so you can see more paper bitcoins being traded, uh, less bitcoins on the exchanges i don't know if this is healthy but i do think that a spot etf is going to change this complete game I do think the balance that you see now on the chart will completely be changed because a spot ETF uh, will make sure that those people that will trade Bitcoin need to own Bitcoin as well. At least the companies that have the spot ETF up and running. They need to own those Bitcoins. So that will change the complete game of paper Bitcoins and physical Bitcoins. Pause the video if you want to discover more on the chart. On this chart you can see the Bitcoin mining investments are being done by countries at the moment. It's not like you and me at home at the basement or an office anymore. Countries. El Salvador, a Bitcoin mining country. United Arab Emirates, a Bitcoin mining country. Oman, a Bitcoin mining country. Bhutan, a bit Like, there's a lot of countries that are investing in mining. At the moment, I see more BRICS countries than European countries, and that is, of course, with a reason. They understand the power of Bitcoin, the store of value capacity it will have for their beautiful countries. And that's why they start to mine Bitcoins. They know the need 
for digital gold. And why do they know the need for digital gold? Because also they see the news. They see that the Lebanon's financial crisis is making sure that the local currency lost 95% of its value. The minimum wage plummeted to $17. Pensions are virtually worthless at the moment and inflation is set to hit 178%. That is Lebanon's financial crisis. And that crisis can happen all over the world. It's not just Lebanon. It happened in Greece once, it happened in Europe, it can happen again in Europe, it can happen all over the world if we keep printing like a shitload of money out of thin air without anything backing it. No gold, nada. This is what fiat money is doing to the world, creating a financial crisis. And that is why these smart countries, these countries over there, started to invest in mining Bitcoin because they understand Bitcoin is the future of money that at the same time works as gold, a digital gold that is a store of value for their capital. That is why these countries are so smart and ahead of the herd. And many countries will follow, guys. Now, then we have the last chart because MicroStrategy is one of the companies that also understands it. They again bought more Bitcoins. MicroStrategy have been buying Bitcoins throughout the whole bear market. And now again around 27 and 26k, it bought Bitcoins. Almost 160,000 Bitcoins is the amount that they hold. I think it's 155,000. That's the amount of Bitcoins one company is holding, guys. That's a shitload of Bitcoins that will become one of the richest companies in the next decade. Because they were smart to replace all of the reserve assets that was filthy fiat, inflationary fiat, with Bitcoin. Their capital grew because of that. It didn't decrease or didn't decrease the buying power, the purchasing power. No, it increased whatever they now need to purchase because it became cheaper because they stored their capital in Bitcoin, guys. And some countries don't understand Bitcoin. And we go into the next part of the news. That news is the UK and the whole new regulations like in Bitcoin. I think it's the FCA regulations. They want to kill Bitcoin in the UK. You can't even talk about Bitcoin anymore if you're UK residents on YouTube because you will be punished. It can even lead up to two years imprisonment now in the UK. I feel sorry for all my friends over there, like the Dead Martini guy, for example, but Jordan, like he's a good influencer educator. Yes, of course, sometimes he talks about some pump and dumps project, but we all do because sometimes we believe that these projects are really cool to invest and to, you know, gain capital. But that these guys now need to move the UK, move out of the UK to be able to talk freely about the thing that they love, their passion, cryptocurrency. That is the most retarded thing I've ever heard. I already didn't understood the Brexit. I kind of did understand the Brexit. No, nobody wants to belong to Europe. Europe is fuck. But now that they are also killing the future of money <laughs> in the UK or whatever they do with their new law, I don't even think it's just about Bitcoin, guys. I think it's about way more than Bitcoin. I think it's about freedom of speech. They will start to with crypto, but at the end you can't talk about anything anymore because you will be fined or go into prison because the same law can apply to anything else that they don't like you to speak about. So yes, it is now for cryptocurrency, but let's see what that will lead to. I can't even understand that the UK people don't stand up like wear a yellow vest like and destroy like the government, <laughs> something like that. I, I find it really strange. Why can't we talk freely about our passion, the thing that we believe in? We don't believe in your filthy fiat, deflationary fiat that is making everyone poor. We don't believe in that. We believe in deflationary assets like Bitcoin. Why are we not allowed to talk about that to our UK customers? And why are those UK customers not allowed to trade Bitcoin? Why not? It is their money. Can they please do whatever the fuck they want with their own money? If they want to trade, for example, on Bybit, which I would advise you to do, trade on Bybit, use the links down below to sign up to get a shitload of bonuses and extra stuff. Why are they not allowed to do this? And of course, everyone understands that if you're not allowed to do something, this is the educational part of the video, 
and yeah you can always use for example a VPN to have a little bit more privacy and connect to those services and websites in a privacy way so that they don't see who is connecting and they don't see where you're from and where you're located of course VPNs are a perfect solution for examples like that I'm not saying that you need to do that I'm just saying that is a solution that people use to you know trade or to do other stuff to browse the internet in a private way but that's why you could use a VPN and of course I also have a link to the VPN down below and of course that VPN link that you can get now down below this video is a VPN link that you also can pay the VPN service with Bitcoin so yes fuck that pay the VPN service for Bitcoin and trade Bitcoin for example that's like could I say that can that lead to prison I don't know no in Portuguese resident with a Dutch passport can I speak in English in the future I don't know where this is going but that news is really disturbing I don't like that news uh, that was enough news for today guys and um, let's jump into the next part a small trading tip that I still need to give you after the charts Bam. The trading tip guys is if you're not like really sure about the trade you can you know you, you have your signal your signal is telling you or your system is telling you hey you should be buying now if you're not sure you can always wait for the confirmation because mostly the Bitcoin price moves like this it goes up a little bit and then it pulls back a little bit then the confirmation of the previous resistance so we find that resistance again and then we take off so take the trade when that confirmation is there we fight resistance against this line we break the resistance we come back to that resistance then become support and that's the confirmation and then you take the trade always wait for the confirmation if you're not very bullish or sure on your trade that was the trading tip for today confirmation is king bam which brings me to the travel tip of today guys the travel tip of today has to do with all the things that you're reading now um, in the news because you know these new laws in the UK and those laws in the United States and those laws for example I think in New Zealand as well um, they might differ per country so before you travel with a shitload of bitcoins on your telephone or on your ledger or whatever thing that you use to store your value make sure you understand the laws of the country that you're traveling to for example, I believe that if you travel to the United States, they have the right on the airport, airport to scroll through your telephone. I think the same rights are there for the customs in New Zealand. If you enter New Zealand through customs, they are allowed to check your telephone, scroll it and check it for maybe more value than you declared. If there is a shitload of Bitcoin on it, I don't know what they can do with it. I don't know exactly how the laws work because I don't go to the United States, I don't go to New Zealand. But if I would go to one of those countries, for example, I would definitely check all those laws before I would go there. I would not have the risk with an iPhone with some bitcoins on it and travel uh, across that border if I have the risk that they will confiscate those uh, bitcoins because it's too much value to take into a country. So this new way of traveling, digital nomad lifestyle, digital currencies, make sure you understand the laws of each country. If these countries have very strict laws when it comes to cryptocurrency, make sure you understand them before you travel into them. That was my travel tip of today, guys. Guys, I forgot to look at the questions uh, below the video of yesterday. So sorry for that. I, I don't have an answer to one of your questions in this video. But what I will do is I will go into the question section of yesterday's video. And I will answer all the questions uh, with a text. I just completely forgot um, to look at the questions. So I'm going to skip that category for today. I'm going to end the video with a very important quote. And that very important quote is some quote that everyone needs to understand. And maybe that is also the answer, by the way, to one of the questions down below the videos, because mostly people ask me a lot about our whoppa, mindset and all that stuff. So this quote is very important. And this quote is also very important for Bitcoin in the future as well. The quote is the following quote. You can always kill a revolutionary, but you will never be able to kill the revolution. And that is the thing that you need to realize. They can do whatever they want to stop Bitcoin and they can kill on ramps and off ramps and they can kill people or whatever they need to kill to stop Bitcoin but they will never stop the Bitcoin revolution. 
the revolution will always continue because Bitcoin is decentralized, disruptive, uncensorable, can't be stopped in any way because it's mathematics running on a computer or a chip or an iPhone or a little Bitcoin miner and they can't stop that revolution. We all collectively should keep fighting for the better decentralized freedom future for all of our children and next generations. We shouldn't now say yes and meh meh to whatever those centralized governments want. They want the central bank's digital currency so they can even control you more. As long you use their currency, they will be in control. The moment you use our currency, we will be in control. That is the peaceful Bitcoin revolution. We don't need to fight. There is no weapons needed. We just need to withdraw all the banks, all the assets on the banks. Just withdraw all of that and put it into Bitcoin. That's the peaceful revolution, taking away the power because you take away the tool they use to control you. And the tool that they use to control us is called fiat. And we shouldn't use that anymore. I think that's the most important message for me to you guys out there. Now, wow, a little bit negative, heavy message at the end. Uh, but I did hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else? The tips. Also go to yesterday's video so I, uh, you can read, of course, the answers I'm giving to your questions over there, guys. Thank you for watching again. I wish you an amazing day. It's beautiful sunny here in the Algarve. It's a beautiful warm day. I think it's 30 degrees. We are going into the sea later. Beautiful day for the beach. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Wow, the sun is really bright. Oh my God. Bam.